This is what I got from a theater company that was going out of business. Some fur fabric that I'll be using for a Viking look. I don't know what this is, but it definitely makes me want to dance and I can probably wear it for some sort of garb look. It is also hot glued together, oops. A hooded cloak for staying warm in photo shoots or for sneaking into a monastery. Either way, it's swishy, so I consider this a win. She's gold, she's shiny, she looks like an elf or a goddess who's about to beat your high knee, but with a little waist cinch and a belt, love that. And can we talk about the sleeves? Or she can be an angel with the wings that I also got. Yes, I'm a big fan of wings, can you tell? Can we talk about the back of this dress for a second? She is giving fancy mother the bride. She's also a little stained at the front, but that's okay, we could probably wash it out. She is beaded, she is unlined, but that's okay because she twirls like a dream. Look at her go, woo! I'm starting to realize I have a type for soft and drapey dresses because also look at the back of this girl. Ah, yes, the fabric falls so nicely. There's probably a reason why this was still on the shelf when I got there though, because this dress is very stained in the back. There are a lot of dark spots. It makes me a little sad, but I'll try and clean it up. I love the way this capelet fabric falls and it is one of only two lined products that I've managed to buy. Most everything else was bought up by resellers by the time I got there and I arrived 15 minutes before the event started. Kind of bummed, but it is what it is. This is the lined dress. She is gorgeous, but she's also damaged. You can see the hem hole there and also some staining around the edges, but the beading is just so magnificent. The way it falls around the shoulders, the way the dress falls. I I am just in love with this and I want to wear her every day and like lounge around and talk about boys while drinking tea. Ah, look at this. Extra pose because I'm feeling it. 